Hey, hello. So, as promised, I thought I'd do a little video about Zig, Zig, Zing, Zigs. Um, as we all know at the moment, hopefully he's not all stuck in work. I've booked a couple of days off. Um, weather is absolutely beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. It's getting a bit cold at the night times, but the water temperatures in them upper levels are definitely where the fish are at the moment. Not seeing many topping, but you can see them slightly rolling on the top. Um, so, what? So they are definitely there. So, you know, you all know, member of the stinky, uh, the stinky stuff um, team. And I thought I'd show you how I use my zigs. Um, obviously, we we've all used zigs before today, especially in this weather. So what I tend to do, you probably can Hopefully, you can see that on the camera, on the camera. So a little bit closer. So I I sometimes just prefer just a black piece of foam um, on the on a nice little zigger liner can see that um, what I tend to do is I'll find out you know I'll, I'll get the marker rod and I'll find out how de depth the water is um, and the trick is this time of year is you're trying to find exactly how where that where, where them fish are so again six foot of water I'll put my zigs out at five foot I'll have another one out at four foot um, and then couple of hours if it's not gone then I'll take a foot off him and then I'll start working the way down if he's still struggling then you can always go down by half a foot but don't sit on your watch for 24 hours um, because you've not had the touch it's literally work the water you know they're, they're on that layer with the thermals you need to physically to use that layer now again obviously we know the way zig work not going to tell anyone how to suck to boil an egg um, how to suck an egg boil an egg what you want to call it um, so again all I do that's all we're using so there's not much attraction there we're just looking for that opportunist fish what comes across and they see it sees it but what I like to do from time to time and I do it quite regular and we've had some really good results on it um, never really documented this on videos or anything but I'll be definitely doing it over the next couple of months so for instance my krill I won't spray it because I'm in my bivy because I it's a bad, well, it's really sunny here at the moment, so I can't really go outside with the sun. It messes up with the camera. So all I've been doing basically is just spraying my zigs with the stinky stuff. And then this is krill, um, it's like krill protein boost. And I find it just gives me that little bit of an extra boost. Um, you know, blackjack, another fantastic one, just to give it an actual boost. Oh, a couple of seconds on it, and it just gives that extra boost. So there you go. Thought I'll give you a little bit of a heads up of what we've been doing. Um, hopefully it works for you. Um, share and like the video um, and comment below. Speak to you soon.